Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Thursday, 5th of August 2021. Let's take a look at the Forex calendar because it looks like we are going to have a busy day. Of course, some data had been released overnight, but they were not really that much important for us. Uh, we got some uh, data uh, important um, scheduled for release during the London session and the the key event of today is of course Bank of England interest rate decision right so together with their interest rate decision we got asset purchase facility uh, we got the official bank votes uh, we have a monetary policy summary and monetary policy report uh, the last of them will be released at one o'clock so the interest rate decision is scheduled for, for release at uh, 1 p.m. The market participants expect the Bank of England to keep the interest rate at the level of 1%, uh, 0.1%, just as a month before. So any kind of um, hawkish statements, any kind of uh, hawkish comments uh, regarding the uh, interest rate uh, will give uh, uh, British Pound a very, very big boost. Uh, so please keep an eye on the monetary policy summary and of course on the official bank rate votes because as we know the market discounts everything and it most likely market will discount future events right not the present time right enough of the philosophy uh, what do we have else uh, half past two during the London session we got unemployment claims continuing claims please notice that recently um, those data were not that uh, that good mm, as they uh, as market participants expected it uh, it to be so please keep an eye on this data as well and of course we got a trade balance from us and trade balance from canada scheduled for release at the same uh, time so let's just take a look and let's focus on the british pound today the british pound and uh, on the um, daily time frame chart uh, is as you can see here uh, is trending around the level of 1.4 little bit below it uh, right now is 1.3894 let me just zoom out for a second for you to see what is really going on from the bigger uh, picture so right now this is the COVID, um, the COVID decline right right towards the technical support from 2019 Support has been, uh, uh, I think, oh, oh, support, support, let me go, yes, there you go, this, this is the decline, sorry, that's the decline, since 1.14, we've been going up and up and up, uh, as you can see here, we have higher high, higher high, higher high, higher high, higher high, those are marginally higher, and of course, higher loss, this is definition of an uptrend, by the book okay so right now um the interest rates are 0.1 percent so if there is any mention or, or, or hawkish comments regarding the future interest rates the market will soar even higher the market will go way 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 above 1.4 level please notice that the recent high here is from 2018 and we are very very close uh, to this level so uh, this is around uh, 400 pips only from the 2018 um, levels and if we just zoom out even higher as you can see this level of 1.5 is, is, is when the UK uh, dispatch itself or exit the, the European Union this is the Brexit candle this is the Brexit candle so we are now right here so the conclusions from the larger point of view uptrend all of this uh, all of this uh, sell-offs are corrections really right so we are in the uptrend and right now uh, the market trades around the level of 1.39 1. Uh, 1. Uh, uh, 1.4 basically this is the key technical resistance 1.4 uh, uh, 1.4017 
Um, and uh, we got the Bayesian graphing here. We got very interesting candle from uh, from yesterday. As you can see, this trend line looks like it's been uh, it's been uh, tested, and there is a bounce. And of course, the let me just do it that way. The the next technical resistance, except the 1.4, is the high from um, the beginning of the year, 24th of the February, and this is the other high, marginally higher, just by few peeps from the big, from the first of uh, June 2021. So once uh, five six months, the market goes towards 1.42. Uh, this is 42.50, let's say. 1.40 to 50 is that this is this year's high and the market it keeps going towards this level however we cannot break above it if there is any mention of a possible interest rate interest rate uh, hike then we have a straight on uh, breakout of this uh, of this level this uh, week or the next week for uh, sure because the, the because of the situation when the british pound will be of course um, getting more and more expensive so it's better to buy it now than uh, than later that's the market market uh, situation right now so please keep an eye on these two levels uh, for in the british pound to the uh, US dollar same situation is with the British pound to Japanese yen we we are in in the in the uptrend you can see it here right now this is clear uptrend this is the COVID yeah this is the COVID decline higher high higher high higher high higher high, high and so on and so on we, we've been through it uh, just a minute ago so right now what is going on on this uh, on this market we are still getting higher uh, on the British pound to Japanese yen we are still going uh, towards the uh, 156 level however recently we just uh, uh, we just uh, been uh, out of the acceleration channel back into the main channel uh, below the trend line as you can see if we um, if we put our trend line here, you can see it clearly that we are still below the short term trend line. The high was made on the 28th of the May, so this is the short term uh, short term trend line trend line here. Um, 151, uh, 53 is now the technical resistance. We got the technical resistance here, 155 and 13. So please keep an eye on this uh, level. Uh, as well those two levels uh, supports 152.33 151.29 and the key support with this very very nice pin bar into it 149.02 let's make um, a, a range of this of this zone uh, of this level and you have 148.46 so uh, altogether, last last piece of information. Altogether, this is so far uh, we got around four percent of decline. Uh, this whole correction uh, has, of course, it's it, it is correction. It looks like a correction because it's corrective in nature. We have a, a possible W X Y X Z. This is a complex. Uh, the double zigs are possibly correction uh, to the downside so however we see this uh, current situation as a corrective uh, the larger time frame trend is still up and we should be uh, looking for the signs of a trend um, uh, resumption because the trend resumption is always easier than the re trend reversal. The key technical resistance 153.39. This is the red line. As you can see, we have been rejected recently, uh, last week exactly uh, from this level. If we break above the 153.39, if we break above orange trend line if we're out of the channel then this is very very bullish uh, signal uh, that market wants to go higher next target 155.13 and of course the recent high uh, 156.06 uh, let me just put this um, this uh, level on uh, on chart as well this is the technical resistance of course so we got this and it's red because it's technical resistance so please keep an eye on this 
this levels here any mention about uh, hawkish statement regarding the interest rate or uh, mon monetary policy pound will go up like no uh, tomorrow and the last thing is um, uh, the British pound uh, uh, to the uh, Australian dollar okay we are already soaring higher and higher in this uh, in this uh, uh, market as you can see here let me just grab the uh, the channel we are out of the channel right so let's just zoom out we've been moving in this channel very very nicely this is of course everything here is an uptrend so there is no doubt about it um, recently we have hit the 1.9 level so the 1.9 level is here and it, that's because this is there is technical resistance here so that's the key that's the key uh, level for now uh, and the level of 1.85.21 uh, is now l l the key technical uh, the key technical support uh, for this market so right now uh, we have a bearish engulfing pattern here uh, we have few days of a, of a downtrend however uh, we shouldn't go lower than uh, 1.8521 uh, other technical support is located at the level of one point let's say 1.8693 the same situation on the British pound to uh, Australian dollar as for the other ones please notice extremely overbought market condition during this rally towards 1.8980 81 the high was made actually at 1.8967 so not that far away from from 1.9 level right now momentum is down uh, back into the level of uh, 63 uh, points so i i think there should be some kind of a uh, bounce uh, from the support and then the uptrend continuation however uh, this is only the local correction because the biggest correction during this uptrend is 2.9 percent this is certainly uh, certainly uh, smaller than than uh, 2.9 percent this is my short analysis of uh, British pound thank you very much for watching and I hope I see you guys tomorrow take care and